was kind of an interesting event. I mean, the Egyptians didn't really even put up that much of a fight. We barely were even in the final match, but I was able to get some good information. And every single person, every single one of them, including Brian, I'm trying to remember exactly what we talked about before we left. Did he invite me over to his place? Yeah, he invited me over, but, but what was that attitude that he had? What, did I just get asked on a... No, 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 I don't see that ever happening. Him asking me on... <laughs> oh, that would be silly. That would be super silly. Why would he ever ask me? But he really was wanting to. I mean, wait... Was it actually a date? Oh god, I think he did actually ask me on the date. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to wear? Am I supposed to ask someone about this? Am I supposed to wear something different? Does he like the black robes? Does he like my attitude? Does he like my hair? Does he like my ears? Does he like my tail? Does my tail look good? Does everything look good? Does everything fine? <sighs> this is too much for me to overwhelm right now. This is too much for me in my head. <sighs> There's a lot for me to think about. I, I just wanted information on everybody, and then all of a sudden I got asked on a date. <gasps> uh, I need to go talk to somebody about this. <sighs> but first, I need to go check on Solus. <sighs> yeah, this is the last time I'm gonna have any one of your coffees from this place. Ugh. What kind of sugar rush am I on right now? It's already been a couple hours and Solus isn't even up yet. Jeez, but this guy I, is just out. I want to pet your feathers. But really See? soft. Who's in the room? <laughs> oh no, he's just he's just oh, sleep talking. Really Solus! Soft. Hey Solus! Holy really? crap, this is ridiculous. Solus! <laughs> ah! Oh, hi. Uh, oh. Did that wake you oh. up finally? I am so. Hey. Hey, buddy. Uh, Morning, yeah, I was gonna say, like, how long have you been out? Hmm. Well, let me take a guess. Let, you guess. How long have you been out? Uh, 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 a long time. Yeah, it's been 12 hours, dude. You fell asleep for so long. Is that long? Yeah, yeah dude, that's half a day. It's like you left oh. uh, half a day. It's already turning nighttime already. Oh, oh, you're gonna hate what you slept through. You're gonna hate it. Did you get more ice cream? And I missed it? No, it's not the ice cream this time. Uh, no, there was um, there was a festival event going on. And guess what we did? Mm -hmm. We fought. And oh, guess who slept yeah. through it? Yeah. I missed the fight! Yeah, we all fought. It was, it was basically like this huge no! battle royale. Yeah, we all get to choose weapons. It was four or five of us in the ring at one time. And the I one who... Yeah, you, you hate to see it. I but... made my own weapon. I don't know if they'd allow that. No, you had you had weapons there. Ah. You had to pick. But there were like six variations. Like, there were a lot of stuff you could have... Uh... I see, you probably would have had a blast doing it, but you decided to wake up. Mm -hmm. I even tried waking you up, dude. Like, I guess from now on, I'm just going to have to use... Uh, that, um, You know, we're just going to have to use that. Ah. 
Yeah, I guess, guess that's the noise that um, from now on you're going to have to uh, abide by. And that's good to know. But I'm crying out loud, dude. What the heck have you been doing? Why the heck have you been asleep for so long? Uh, well, yeah, did he... Magnus tell you? Um, I'll let you know if Magnus told me everything in a bit. But I want to... Well, no, you tell me. I'll see if uh, that's exactly what she told me. So what did you used to? I went adventuring. Adventuring? Yes. With who? Uh, unicorn Boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, tattoo Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, sh- uh, mm- yeah, use your head. You got this. Magnus. Mm-hmm. Uh... Uh, this guy, he has the thing he has. What's the thing he called? The scorpion. Scor- he had a scorpion. Oh, is that the other guy that's over here? This, uh, the. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Um, but, like, so you were out with them and you didn't bother telling me. Well, I figured I was with Magnus, so. Well, I mean, that's besides the point. I know that Magnus is already, you know, supervising you and everything, but you have to tell me when you're taken off or at least like you know going exploring it seems like you've been getting out and about even more as of recently like i'm okay you just gotta tell me when you're doing these things i get worried Mm. you're just off there i know that magnus does her own thing and i can't really control her too much but at least i can like you know at least make sure that you're safe because the next time you go out there all of a sudden like what if something happened to you what would i tell your father (sighs) Uh uh-huh I don't know. Exactly. You know. But I've been walking around a lot, and I haven't done anything bad. And I haven't got hurt. Scar can vouch for me. Scar can vouch for anything you do. But can you just, I don't know, from now on, can you just tell me when you're going out? Just... Does that mean I can go outside? <sighs> well... You have been behaving yourself. No one has actually come up to me and told me that uh, you've had, you know, any problems. You haven't really fought anybody, which is actually kind of a plus. You usually get into fights like every other day. But now ever since you've been here, you've actually been pretty well behaved, which is, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm quite impressed with you, Solus. You actually maintained. And who's point. impressed with me? Don't get used to it. Okay. Oh. You, you, okay. One good thing. All right. So, we. Okay. So from now on, I know it's just going against everything I just said, but I guess you are. You can go around exploring around the camps. Oh, really? Without me, you don't have to. But that being said, though, you can't. Don't go outside of the camps. Okay. I don't even know what's out there yet. We have to be safe. I've been roaming around as of recently. Yeah. Hmm. Stay in the camp. Stay in the camp. Okay. I've been roaming around, and it seems like everything else is safe. There's only, um... Oh! Oh, uh... Did you meet this camp counselor? You met the snake lady. I know you met the snake lady. Yeah, but she's did evil. You, did you meet her friend? Oh, yeah, the nice lady? Yes. No, no, it's not, the, it's not a lady. It's another one. Uh, it's, uh, um... Goes by, uh... Jakey River... You know this person no. at all? Nothing? All right. Better be on your toes about that one, okay? Just be careful about that one. He might seem nice, but I don't know. He seems like he's out for us Egyptians for some reason. Is he mean? Uh, well, he told me not to even go near the uh, the Greek place at all. Like, he told me no. Dang, all. I mean, that just means I'm just going to go anyways. So I'm giving you permission to go, regardless of what he says. Yay. Because I don't really care what he has to say he was really mean about it like he was saying that he was like a camp counselor but he was like going against everything a camp counselor would do camp counselors you know like we're supposed to have fun here right and he's telling me not to have fun so i told him mm. i told him um goodbye and oh i uh i don't like i didn't like doing it but you know that ability that i have like the eyes and stuff that i keep telling you about every once in a while yeah, scary one yeah i used it on him oh. he has no idea so I, know, I can read his every move now, but that's that's besides the point. Just know that... I don't uh, like that. I'm comfortable. Well, I'm telling you, I don't even like that move either. 
Reminds me too much of so Dad. If he's mean to me, can I fight him? Hmm? So if he's mean to me and Scar, can I fight him? If he's mean to you and Scar... You know make him nicer. See, I would... Yes. Okay. You know what? We'll, we'll let... I'll let you do this, too. But be careful. Okay? Be careful. He's, um... He was, like, some sort of, like, water dragon thing. I don't know. He used a move on me. It was really interesting. It didn't hurt me at all, but it was, like, put me in, like, a bubble. It was weird. Mm. And I don't know what else he's got up his sleeve. So I'm just saying, just be careful if you're gonna fight this guy. But first, can you promise me one thing? Mm -hmm. Only do it if he seems mean. Okay. Okay. He might seem nice, but he's got like you know he's got that that lip, you know, like the you know that talk where like he says nice things, but like he sounds like you're being yelled at at the same time. That's kind of what he sounds like when he's mean. Mm -hmm. So be. You could fight him when he does that. He's not nice. Okay? Okay. Okay. So, just to let me know, once again, you have permission to go roaming around the camp. Only the camp. Uh. Camp. Camp only. Camp only. And if you do that, maybe we can go exploring some other places, you know, farther. But that's with me, okay? If you want to go exploring farther, you have to be with me. Okay. Or Magnus. Okay. All right, we just need, we need to make sure you're safe. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, just wanted to make sure. Now, there is another event coming up very, very shortly, mm -hmm. and I want you to be there if you can. So please mm -hmm. do not fall asleep this time. Okay? Okay. Cool. All right. <sighs> well, it's been an eventful day for me, so I, even though you just woke up, I'm going to go to bed. I'm just okay. going to let you know. There is ice cream down in the fridge. Oh. If you want some. Scar, I'm going to go grab us some ice cream. I'll be right back. Right. Ice cream! Go get your ice cream. Go have fun. And I'm going to go to bed. Watch your legs. Oh, boy. He's here. Well, we've got some really interesting architecture going on in here. Giant scar. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Mikael, Mervetus, Solis. Aha! Uh, knock, knock, knock. Uh, hello? I was expecting guests. Hello? Come in, come in, come in. Open the door. Hello. Ooh, hello. Hi. Um, this is our first time ever meeting together. Hello. How's it going? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, who would I make the acquaintance for? What's your name? Just gonna, you know, just make the introduction. Oh, my so. name is Lychee. Lychee, all right. Let then me, um... the fruit. Oh, okay. Let me just write that down. Lychee. It seemed like you already know my name, so I think we were okay. I do. I just spoke with Solace. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Did he Did he give you any trouble at all? Oh, no. He told me his wonderful story about the beetle. Ah, Scar. Yep. Yeah, yes. he really likes that. That thing is uh, quite quite popular around here i will admit i'm surprised mm -hmm. i mean back yeah. in back in egypt all he did was cause trouble and now he's the center of everyone's attention now <laughs> how uh now we told a crazy story about him fighting with it for two days yeah that's yep that's uh that's scar for you but anyways yeah mm. so you came by solus said uh to come see me any particular reason well, I was heard through the great fan that you're very knowledgeable about stuff and things, and mm -hmm. I thought I'd come and uh, poke at your brain a little bit about uh, dragons. Hmm. All right. Dragons. So, are you looking for something specific, like Egyptian? Dragons. Yeah, well, I'm going to try and poke at, you know, the other pantheon, see if they've got anything in particular. Oh. They can tell me about their own uh, pantheons and stuff about that, but Correct. yes. I All thought right. you'd probably be the best. You probably got the most knowledge about this kind of thing, considering the rest of them are yeah. not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed uh, besides Mikhail. I, I don't mean to brag, but... Yeah, you kind of you kind of did come to the right place if you're looking for any information. Uh, mm -hmm. Now about Egyptian dragons. See, uh, let me see. There's nothing really much 
when it comes to Egyptian dragons. We don't really have that when it comes to our um, mythology. There really isn't mm -hmm. anything dragon related. That's more other Parthians, which is, you know, fair because dragons don't like hanging out in the desert that often. It's that too dry. True. There's not enough water for them. And, you know, having a body that big like a dragon, well, they wouldn't be able to survive even a second in the hot sun. Now, mm. quite interesting. There are a few. There are a few sightings of dragons. Now, oh. this one is, is going to be a tad bit more difficult to explain because it's not just out in the world. These oh. dragons, these dragons, you actually are pretty good coming to me since that uh, I actually kind of, my dad kind of rules over this stuff. Um, the uh -oh. the underworld. Oh, yes. I, I like that place. It's a very interesting place. I've yes. heard a lot about it. There, okay, that's good to hear. There are some sightings of mythological creatures that aren't part of our, you know, mythology. There are oh. a few of them come down. There's, I mean, there's been a few centaurs, minotaurs, and there are, have been a few sightings of dragons. Now, it has been quite some time, though, since the last mm. time a dragon showed up in our underworld. If I'm not mistaken, if I was reading one of the books correctly, it's been like a couple thousand years since the last time a dragon showed up. Now, hmm. that being said, though, the years in the underworld really don't matter particularly because the way the underworld works for Egypt is that in the underworld, time moves a little bit faster. So they could have actually, in real time, it could have been only like maybe a couple years. But inside the yeah. other world, it could have been a couple thousand years. So mm, interesting. it could be you might be able to see it. Now, the other world is a big place. It is a massive place. I'm even oh, I, like, I, I know. Yeah, it's quite a big place. Yeah, it's my I mean, my my dad, which I don't like talking about too much, rules over it. And I've helped him every once in a while to, you know, make sure things are in order. And I don't even know where it ends. It just so keeps going. It's like Hades. Hmm. What's that about Hades? So your dad is like Hades. Yes, uh, to an extent. I only know a little bit about him through um, the son, Zylo, because we've just been uh -huh. um, getting acquainted as of recently. We haven't talked too <laughs> much. I mean, he's been kind of wild up about, like, you know, these, like, festival events i mean ever since like you know that he won that last one it kind of uh yeah that was kind of interesting yeah it wasn't uh yeah, it was a little weird but i can understand where he's coming from that's just kind of how the uh his uh mythology works but yeah i would say mm -hmm. that my dad anubis is a little bit like hades I wouldn't say to maybe as powerful because it seems like Hades is kind of just the ruler of everything down in the other world. While yeah. Anubis, yes, he is, but he also rules more of a like a percentage of it. Like he rules over the dead. And that's kind of it. There are a couple other mm. gods in Egypt that rule over certain other sections or other gods that will come into the uh, on the underworld to assist. So it's not just like one person ruling. It's yeah. a lot different. It's a collective. I like that. Yeah. It's interesting. It's a lot more different. It's more of, yeah, it's more of a group community work ethic together, more so than just one person working together. Now, hmm. see, I could ask maybe one of the gods if uh, maybe I could communicate with them and see if maybe any kind of dragon has showed up in the past hundred years and maybe give you a direction towards one but that could be cool i can't guarantee any why why are you looking for why are you so interested in the dragons just i just curious well dragons are just there's something mysterious about them mm -hmm. and being able to see one if at all possible would be a, a, an experience in itself so you're more just trying to sight seize these things you know they're dangerous yes oh of course mm, well i'm fine 
I mean, just by looking at you, you seem like you've been... You can hold yourself to a fight. Mm -hmm. I've right, been trained by the best. Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I could see it. Even in, even in your eyes, I could see that you've got some... you got some spunk, too. So I won't mm -hmm. be too worried about that. But really, nothing else? Just, just kind of curious about them? Yeah, I'm just very curious. I... It's a little bit quiet around here, and I need a bit of something to, you know, th give me that bit of a thrill. Okay, th fair. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I would say for the meantime, give me some time on this. This is going to be something that um, I already have a, a couple of stuff on my plate as it is um, regarding mm -hmm. a few other events. Other people have asked me somewhat not not like exactly the same when it comes to dragons but other information as well like a lot of people have been coming up to me for stuff so i've been kind of getting my hands full a little bit so i would say no yeah it's <laughs> i try my best but i say for the meantime check out maybe some of the other pathions i mean um which ones that, have you visited them all yet is there still you're actually the first okay so you've got you still have options to ask around and from mm -hmm. what I've heard and read, you might find some more luck with them. I'll keep an eye out for the Underworld, seeing if there's any dragon sightings. But for the time being, I suggest going over and saying hi to the other ones. Maybe they'll be oh, yes. able to give you a better lead. I'm sorry I wasn't been able to give you a clear-cut answer, but oh, I'll do what no, I can. Perfectly fine. All right. Well, I appreciate any and all information. Of course, of course. See. Yeah, I mean, ever since being here, I just feel like, you know, there aren't a lot of people out that are just trying to help each other. So I'm trying my best to help out as many people as they come, especially since I know so much about um, our Egyptian mythology. You know, mm -hmm. people come up every once in a while asking, you know, you know, just simple questions like, you know, how we live, how we what we eat, you know, what's life Precisely. after death like people are curious and because of that i feel like i'm obligated to help those people out so no oh, it's my it's i'm happy helping you really oh well, i'm glad to hear that i'm i'm glad i came to you first of course i'm hoping everybody else is a little bit more uh charitive and informative with their information i'm hoping so i can't i can't uh vouch for the other pathions but um Egyptians, we're trying our best to get along as much as possible. I know we're all different. This is all a brand new world to us, but you know, we're all trying to like you know get along and just you know have a good time. It's kind of what we're yeah. doing. Yeah, I can see that, and I like it. Of course, of course. You're an interesting bunch. Yeah, we. Tr you can definitely say that. Definitely you do have two of the most uh, hyperactive. That mm -hmm. is for sure. Are you talking about uh, Solus and Ricardo? Yes. <laughs> yeah, trying to keep. I already have. I kind of have Solus, like on a not like on a physical leash, but like you know, just I got an eye out for him. Ricardo, mm -hmm. he's a different story. He's a bit of a free spirit. Yeah, it's, it's it's more than I know. All of a sudden, he's like hanging out with the other Pathions. He barely hangs out here, so I could barely even like keep track of that guy. <sighs> I mean, I'm, blame you. I'm already babysitting one one idiot. I don't want to babysit a second one, but we'll try our best to keep them as uh, sane as possible. Yeah. Well, I'll leave you to get on with whatever it is you was doing. Of course, yep. And I'll see if any of the other pantheons are available for a chit-chat. Of course. Actually, yeah, too. If you got any, any information on these uh, dragons... Um, feel free well, to course. let me know. I mean, this is more information for me to pass on to other people. So if you find anything out, feel free. I would love to know. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, I think that Jakey fellow is something to do with dragons. I might go to him next. Ooh. All I'm going to say he, about he's him... He's got a lot of knowledge. All I'm going to say about him, though, he does, but he's a little bit... I, I talked to him once. He was a little bit on edge. I know he's a camp counselor and all, but just, oh. just be out a little bit for him. He's oh, a little bit kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take that with a pinch of salt and I'll see what he says. Of course. All right. Well, have a wonderful day and I will uh, get out of your hair. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. I'll see Bye what now. I can do over here. Hmm. Dragons. 
Now, what could he want with them?